U.S. senators accusing the Department of Veteran Affairs of ignoring warning signs, even lying, to cover up the growing cost and construction delays with the hospital being built here in Aurora. Lance Hernandez live at Aurora City Hall, where the delegation just finished a hearing. And Lance, committee members are angry about the lack of accountability here. They are, Eric. The ranking member of that committee calling for an independent investigation into problems at that hospital, which have led to countless changes, construction changes, and resulting cost overruns and delays. For example, we learned today that they had to change the room. One of the rooms that had already been built changed the size because they didn't realize the size of the equipment that was going to go inside. Now, it is rare that a Senate committee meets outside of Washington, D.C., but these senators felt the situation warranted it. The hospital is way behind schedule and more than a billion dollars behind or over budget. Senator Michael Bennett says cost overruns go back to the very first contract. We've felt for years like people standing on the deck of the Titanic saying there's an iceberg ahead, there's an iceberg ahead, and no one at the VA would listen to us. Now, the newly appointed deputy secretary of the VA told those senators he has begun a second internal investigation and said he would support an outside independent investigation. He also said he would provide senators with information or with a report on the whistleblower, a whistleblower who warned of cost overruns related to the VA's contracting process. He was fired. Reporting live in Aurora, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.